truly it's it's an experience you don't get anymore hardly in a retail setting it, it just doesn't happen jennifer durkis works at mcdonald's meats in clear lake it's a fourth generation family-run business that's celebrating its 100th anniversary this year my great-grandfather started in 1914 um, he ran it as a dry goods store um, slash you know ice harvesting he harvests ice in the winter He'd hold it in an ice box and then deliver that throughout the summer. Travis McDonald is the current owner. He says it might be surprising to know that when his great grandfather first started, they didn't sell meat. He dabbled into the slaughtering and then that's when my great grandfather started doing uh, more of the grocery locker side of things. We were known as McDonald's Meats. Uh, grocery and locker. The grocery store not only survived the Great Depression, but it also helped many customers through the tough times as well. There was a lot more trade that went on during the Great Depression. There wasn't so much money that exchanged hands. There was a lot more trade to keep everybody living through when it. When Travis's father took over, he saw a need to experiment with making homemade beef jerky. And what we would do as kids is We'd hand jerky out to local cars that are going by. Um, we go door to door around the local lakes. We go door to door and hand out flyers and, and jerky samples to really try to get the jerky um, and different things going for this meat market that we have now. Travis has kids of his own that he believes may take over the business someday. My son and daughter, and I have another son, but he's a little younger. But they they love coming here and working, and my employees they embrace them, and you know. And even the customers, they love seeing, you know, a little nine-year-old helping them bag, you know, bag up some groceries. Today, the shop still butchers meat on site and is known throughout the community for having a small town atmosphere and offering unique varieties of meat. It's amazing if you look back of, you know, the different things that we had to go through to get here. Reporting from Clear Lake, Ashley Gardas, WJON News.